Launching your favorite apps and calling your loved ones has never been easier with the fast fingerprint scanner on the Wiko UView and UView Lite. Configurable up to five fingers. Find out more at my-en.wikomobile.com. Ever since the photo booth trend became popular, there have been lots of startups and businesses offering this service, which usually includes the props, backdrop, camera, and the printing. However, not all of us can afford hiring these companies, so here is a way you can set up your own little photo booth at a much lower cost. Although it would take a little bit more effort and some investment. Alicia from Cal Gadget TV here, and let's take a look at what you need to make your own simple photo booth. Firstly, let's look at the hardware you need. What we have here is a Canon Selfie CP1200 compact photo printer. Now, this printer doesn't come with paper and ink. Instead, you have to purchase a separate paper and ink set. Now, the Selfie printer is really cute and portable, although the power cable is a little cumbersome. You can buy an optional battery pack, but that is another cost altogether. So, what we need to do now is to insert the ink cartridge from the side panel. Now, each set comes with three packs of cartridges, and six packs of 4R photo paper. It's actually quite convenient like this. So for example, if someone wants to borrow this printer, they just need to buy their own ink and paper set and you can lend the machine to them without worrying about ink spillage or cost. To insert the paper, you just need to attach the paper cassette. Open the first and second covers, load the paper with the glossy side up, close the inner cover and insert the cassette into the printer. There are two ways you can link your device to the printer. I'm going to use my iPad and direct link it so if I'm somewhere without Wi-Fi, I can still connect my device. Just key in the name of the SSID and the password in the Wi-Fi option and you're good to go. Now let's do a test print. Just select a photo, tap this icon and select print, then select the printer and that's it. The selfie prints colour by colour so don't panic if you see the photo coming out yellow at first. So, how to set your own mini photo booth? Just download an app from the App Store. So I chose PC Booth because it is free. Unless you want to remove its logo from the print, then you just need to pay $2.99. Put the iPad on the holder and that's it. Take all the photos you want and just send it to print. This app is one of those few that allows you to print directly from the app and it also features some funny stickers to attach to your photos. Overall, this little project might cost about 499 ringgit for the printer, 139 ringgit for the 4R size paper and ink cartridge set, and maybe $2.99, which is equivalent to about 13 ringgit. It isn't too bad if you don't want to fork out for a photo booth service provider. Well, you can even make your own props. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our another episode of Gadget Quickie. So, what do you think? Would you hire a um, company that does um, photo booth or would you make your own? Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to our channel over here. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and follow us on social media right down here. To the next video, this is Alicia signing off. Bye!